watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. And I'm here in Blackpool, England with Fluffy Machine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Introduce yourselves, boys. <laughs> I'm Yolan. I play guitar and I do the voice. <laughs> I'm Nico. I play bass and I do the voice. <laughs> I'm, I'm Frank. Uh, I, I drum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Greg. I play guitar. And I do the voice too. <laughs> I actually do some voice as well. Forget that. It's true. Right. It's true. He does. I think that's really cute. I when was you guys there. say the voice because in English we would just say vocals. <laughs> that is wrong. We do voice. That's it. <laughs> did, you well, so did, did you write the Oxford Dictionary? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> so you guys are living up to your Instagram bio. It says four Swiss idiots who pretend to play punk rock. Who wrote that? <laughs> Oh, I did see you guys recently at the New Cross Inn. This is why we're here today. I was absolutely blown away by your performance. Thank you. <laughs> so your Instagram bio is very deceiving. I saw you first, and then I was like, who are these guys? What is their name? I looked at their Instagram. I was like, oh, I probably would not have been as impressed if I just saw that. But you guys are really amazing, do you think honestly. We have to, do you think we have to change our Instagram bio? And if yes, what do we have to write? No, I, I like it just as it is because it's really funny. It fits what your Instagram is about. And I think that people just need to go experience you live because your live set is really amazing. You guys have a ton of energy. Thank you. Can you can you talk about obviously you were telling me that you're from a small town in Switzerland you're you're here doing a tour through England and Europe and you were saying that it's it's kind of difficult for you guys you're not used to it because you're like from a mountain town you, you want to go <laughs> I was inspired. telling that so yeah because uh, th like the big cities uh, I think I think they were kind of cool when I was 17 and I was like uh, thinking about moving to a big city like London someday yeah. And the more I grow old, the more I realize that, nah, I like the mountains and the cows, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, mountains and, and cows are superior to traffic and dead rats. That's true. I did, I, where was I? I was walking somewhere. I think it was somewhere through London, and I, I did see a smushed rat. It was kind of disgusting. Did you take a selfie with it, though? No, no, I did not. I, I kind of, like, screamed and kept you walking. You missed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a thing, you know, in the U.K., I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Well, but so no, continue. So yeah, uh, but, but like it's very you know exotic for us to like go in cities, you know, and I don't think we could be doing that every day. Like we we were in Paris uh, on Saturday, and I really, <laughs> and I I really don't understand how how people can like live there. I'm sorry, but you know it's very uh, like overwhelming, like the traffic and. It's always cloudy because of, you know, the pollution or whatever. Yeah, it's like L.A. People are like, oh, look at that sunset. And it's like, yeah, those are chemtrails. Yeah, but L.A., you have like a small chance of m seeing Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> He's right. like purchasing a bottle of water, you know. <laughs> so, you know, that's worth it. Like in Paris, you could only see uh, <laughs> Gérard Depardieu, which is, <laughs> which is like less impressive, you know. <laughs> But the people we met in Paris were fantastic, basically. So, okay. so you guys know. <laughs> None of them were French. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, just <That's> say. <laughs>
wonder about about bands that you know English is not your first language. What makes you choose to to sing in English, and is that difficult for you? I mean, obviously, it's it's the more universal language, but it was very difficult for me at first. Not for him because he's he's half American. His mom is from California. Oh wow! And uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Uh, it feels like where we're from. If you sing in English, people understand less what you're saying. And I was very anxious at the time when I was uh, writing lyrics and stuff. Yeah. So I decided to try in English. And then I actually learned the language and it went like, okay, I guess. Uh, like in general, I feel like uh, English sounds better for like songs. When you write lyrics in French, uh, people are way more like critical of the way you write the lyrics. Yeah. It has to be like, really top notch poetry. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah. And so, you know, we're kind of lazy. So top-notch poetry is not necessarily what we're going for. We're going for uh, partying with friends, you know? Yeah. Mm. So that's probably one of the reasons as well. And uh, we want to be international rock stars. And, <laughs> <laughs> and French won't bring us there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Talk about some of your musical influences. Obviously, I mean, when I listen to you guys, no effects. And then even your latest single um, reminds me a lot of Weezer, actually. Oh, yeah. oh you're the second person to, who told me that. I like, love Weezer. Like, like They're a, great. Like a cow, co-worker of mine told me that a year ago. Co-worker. Co-worker? Because we live with cows we're in the remember? mountains. <laughs> you know, milk and cheese, Switzerland? Yeah, it's co-worker. It's us. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we have a lot of influences. Uh, we're listening a lot to like Australian bands uh, okay. at, at the moment, like bands like Dune Rats and the Bennies and Clowns. Okay. And so we can definitely, I think, hear that in the 2021 album, and uh, also their most recent single. I think it's kind of heavily. I mean, you wrote that song, so maybe I'm wrong, but I feel the vibe of like being on a beach in Melbourne. I've never been, but I imagine that's what it's like. <laughs> You're so wrong. <laughs> so okay, wrong. so please enlighten me. Yeah, Yolan. let's talk about your new single. I I absolutely love it. I was literally I list I when I discover new music and I really like a song, I'll I'll binge listen. So even when I was setting up before you guys came here, I listened to your new single like three times. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that that was you. I'm I, I, I'm, che I'm checking I'm checking the stats on Spotify. You know, Spotify it says two streams. two people are listening. So <laughs> I knew it was my mom and you. <laughs> And Thank it's, you. <laughs> it's called what well, I'm I'm always high when I see you smile. That's yes. correct. Can we talk about the single and who it's about, what it's about? It's about loads of things to be honest. It's about uh weed. It's about <laughs> love. Obviously. It's about Obviously. friends, Obviously. people in general, people we love. Obviously. <laughs> people we didn't get to meet during two years of COVID, to be honest. Yeah. Obviously. And I wanted to do like a mashup. Uh, of all that th those things that I, I was missing during those two years yeah so it's like i'm always high because it makes me happy when i see you smile yeah because you know either it's like a person that i love yeah or the demon salad <laughs> <laughs> the, the demon salad <laughs> the weed <laughs> it's almost true <laughs> <laughs> One of, you, one of you is is sober, but potentially coming off <laughs> off of that. So how do you how Hello. do you feel about this? 
Yeah. Being a sober guy in the band, how do you feel playing with raging drug addicts and alcoholics? Except for this tour, they were you guys were saying that you've been tasting. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> feel good. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's good. It's fun. A lot of fun. And uh, I'm also the driver, so... Oh, okay. Well, that, help, that helps. With <laughs> you. So then you need to be... Get everybody there safely. Yeah. And then you're the one that's in the van that no air conditioning because it's too... <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. You're exactly. just going to be hot. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fiscally responsible <laughs> well so can you guys share some stories from this tour that you've been doing some of your favorite moments what <laughs> sorry <laughs> we get we get that was it. actual tongue sorry what are you guys in a relationship no should, should they? yes should oh, i mean <laughs> really <laughs> you want to make you want to make it official okay <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> What was the question? Sorry, I, I was sorry, really sorry, not sorry, expecting sorry. that. I, 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 I got caught away. For everyone away. that is what that like close up, there was tongue involved. It's like it's like a bro thing in Switzerland. <laughs> everyone in Switzerland like they make out. Yeah, it's like if you go to Switzerland and you meet someone new, uh, make out with tongue. So but then the, you won't be cheated as as a tourist. Then your song, I, I kissed a guy. That's where that comes from. Yeah. Well, but that song comes from uh, <laughs> like making out with your friends in front of right-leaning people. Okay, well, I'm not right-leaning, but I know. <laughs> I know. But I was just like, just, just to piss I them just off. It's the first time someone's ever done that in an interview of like, because usually people just do it off camera or like, you know. Oh, oh, <laughs> this thing is on. <laughs> oh, no. I was just like, oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. You guys are just feeling a moment, riding a wave. <laughs> Riding the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, you. What was your question? <laughs> uh, fun moments on the tour. Yes. Uh, Frank, you want to talk yeah. about a fun moment on the tour? Uh, <laughs> right. I, I would love to. But so many things happened in such a short amount of time. <laughs> Who knows? Like, uh, yeah, we... I don't know why, but when we're out on tour, we only listen to like local stupid songs. I don't know, maybe, uh, uh, why do we do that? Like we listen to the song of the football team from where we are from. Yeah. You know? It's and like, uh, session. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, stadium song like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and we, listen, we blast that in Sing the car, it. eight in the morning. No. <laughs> 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 Please, Greg, sing it. Obsession, <laughs> allez, allez, allez. C'est ça, hein? Oui. What are you doing, Greg? <laughs> and none of us uh, like football or watch sh watches football. So that makes me. I don't like it yeah. either. Like yeah, I, like I'm always just like, sport. go sports. Yeah. <laughs> Same. To hide. watch the super bowl like ever i just watch the halftime show honestly and i just go to the parties in la there's always big parties so i'm i'm there for the parties the drinks and the halftime show and then everything else is go sports so do you like you, you don't you don't understand what's happening on the screen but you you cheer when when your person on the right cheers no i usually like the party stop like this this past super bowl in la the party stops and everyone sits down to watch the halftime and then you just go back to the party okay, and cool. then there's the people that enjoy the sports so is that like do you guys have something like that like the super bowl do you, like do you just go for like the uh, <laughs> like w where we're from <laughs> this is, it's going to tie in well with what we said previously there are, there are actually cow fights Okay. You know, you know, because in America they do a thing called cow tipping, where you just tip them over. That's abusive. <laughs> <laughs> like the cow didn't ask for anything, and you're just like sh going in a mosh pit with a cow. Yeah, you find him sleeping, do and then like, have you seen the movie Tommy Boy? 
with Chris Farley. No. Okay. Oh, anyway. yes, I have. Yes, yeah. yes. You yes. look like you would. <laughs> you look like you would have seen that. What does that mean, Erin? <laughs> it means that you have a good sense of humor. Okay. And they, and they lie with that, and they go and they tip the cows over. So you have cow sports. Yeah, cow, cow, because naturally the uh, cows they um, they fight to like assert dominance. Okay. And they like put their horns together, and so every year there's like at all the farmers are like raising their cows to get the best fighting cow. And then lots of people come in an arena and they, they watch the cows with like numbers on the sides and they all have names, like some, like impressive, scary names. And whoever wins the tournament is like the queen. And then the baby of the queen are worth a shitload of money. Okay, because you know they, they have things similar that are like it's cockfights with the roosters. Oh, yeah. And so you guys have cow but fights. That's illegal, isn't it? I think so. I don't fucking know. But okay. people do it. Okay. Because it gets very bloody. So you have cow fights. Yeah. yeah. Very proud of it for so, for some reason. <laughs> we, we we don't actually I watch know, it. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's a really like, big it's a big deal, yeah. you know. People go there and drink wine the whole day. Okay. And that's it. I could get on board with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that part is okay, but it smells bad. I think. W- oh w- yeah, because cows like fart a lot. <laughs> I think wh- whatever you do, whatever you do, if you reunite three thousand people with alcohol, like whatever the the main event is, it, it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Like, can you like that's why I think chess tournaments should be like improved can you, ma- can you imagine like a chess tournament but like with a big arena and alcohol and a commentator i mean didn't they used to and he takes the queen Whoa! Well, wasn't that <laughs> bobby <laughs> fisher didn't they with alcohol i don't know maybe <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i'm not sporty i don't know Let's talk about what's coming up next for you guys. How m- how many more dates are left of your tour, and then when do you go back, and then what are you doing after? What's next? We have a few countries left to do because it's our fifth day today. Okay, so this is the beginning. Yes. How long is the tour? Three weeks. Okay. Oh wow. So we're going to the big ones are Granichen Festival. Wow. In Switzerland. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the punk rock holiday in uh, Slovenia. Oh, I could see you guys playing that. Yeah. You, you uh, fit right in. Really excited <laughs> about the, this one. We were, yeah. play it, uh, we were supposed to play it in 2020, but yeah. obviously we didn't because I was sick <laughs> <laughs> and tired. So I was like, nah. Uh, and also we have Berlin. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like... Uh, and Rebellion Festival, yes, obvi- of course. obviously. Super happy about yes, that. Which is what we're here for. To this and also, there it is, Le the Winter Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a lot of uh, like big festivals. It's going to be our first tour where we actually have like big outdoor festivals. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to that. Aww. It's going to be pretty cool. That's amazing. I wanted to ask, how did you guys come up with the name? What inspired your band name? Because it's it's very strange. Ooh. <laughs> it's very I think we were eighteen at the time. Right, well, y- y- Yolan and me had this notion that you, a cool band name absolutely had to be two words that didn't have anything in common. Yeah. I don't know who told us this, because because <laughs> Green Day, you know, this no is is Green the opposite of day? No. Uh, but you know, I mean, Green Day means a, a day to smoke weed. Yeah, but like the <laughs> it's the, it's not two. It's not just two random words, you know. So we, we, we like had a list yeah, of, of words. Yeah, but there's sense. It's like a, it's a green day is a day that you sit around and smoke weed. What the hell is a fluffy machine? Well. You've never seen one? No. <laughs> Actually, a, 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 what a fluffy machine is, you can, is a machine that goes down ski slopes pretty fast, but dodges people every time. He's laughing, so I feel like you're Makes making it this fluffy. up. That's <laughs> <laughs> true, right? <laughs> Thank you, Frank. <laughs> hey, if you come to Switzerland, hire me. I can teach you ski, right? He's <laughs> a, real. He's a, a slut. I do for a living. <laughs> I, I, 
I'm scared of like the image we're giving back during this interview. <laughs> hey, cow fights, <laughs> ski instructor, wow. white wine. We're not this proud of a country yeah. usually, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like we're not talking about cows and everything. Uh, we, we just do stuff to survive there. That's it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm wearing like suspenders. I look wow. like a farmer. <laughs> hey, you should totally come to Switzerland, you know, drink some milk. <laughs> wow. Drink milk, guys. Do you know Suze, Aaron? Suze. Suze. S-U-Z-E. -Z -E. No. It's like a French drink that's very popular where we're from. And we mix it with milk because we have no boundaries. <laughs> okay. And we like, brought nine liters with us uh, in the van. And that's all Frank and me are drinking. That and beer with vodka inside. <laughs> Punk rock. Party time. <laughs> <laughs> do about <laughs> it guys well um if you don't have anything else to add i'm gonna close with that i want to say thank you so much for taking already time can we like ask you questions you want to ask me a question okay ask me a question uh, how do you sleep with the hair like that um well so this is one of my most viewed videos on tiktok it has like seven million views i just i wrinkle the front ones and then just it's very so, it's very uncomfortable so you, so you choose a side yeah and then my ear falls asleep and then i so I just basically wrinkle the front ones. Oh, okay. And then I wake up and I fix them. So you never sleep on the back of your head? No, because the point of sleeping with my hair up is that I like don't have to spend an hour and a half to do it fresh. Because it's faster to just fix it and put more hairspray in. So by the end of Rebellion Weekend, there's going to be so much fucking hairspray in my hair. It's not even going to be funny. Because I'm not washing my hair out for like five days. Are, are you like... Ew. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my god. Oh come on, because you guys wash your hair every day on tour. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you really? 30 minutes yeah. a day? No, I'm kidding. That don't touch clean Don't hair. touch it. That is not clean. <laughs> you dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> are you yeah. are you inflammable? Yeah. I, I because, inflammable. Because yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, inflammable? No, I'm flammable. Because of like all the hairspray? Because oh I'm spicy. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> spicy. Okay. All right, boys. We're done here. Thank you for taking the time tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much. For Thank you, for everyone. Thank us. you. <laughs> Sorry Thank you for much. the chaos. <laughs> no, wow. Love it. Okay. Wow. wow. <laughs> Drink milk. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> we're Fluffy Machine. Yeah, yeah. We are Fluffy Machine. Yeah. Are you? We are. Hey, guys. I, I am. Fluffy Machine. Also, you're watching Last Rockers. <laughs> TV! Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>